Okay, so thank you, Sabine, for the introduction. So I'm Isaline Graveau from BRGEM, the French Geological Surveys. And I have been uh, involved in CCUS uh, research projects for many years now. Um, uh, in particular, I'm working on um, developing uh, CCUS value chains in uh, different regions. Um, and today, I will uh, focus on the Mediterranean region uh, and speak about identifying CCUS value chains. And this work has been uh, carried out and is being carried out in the CCUS Zen project, which is a, a European funded uh, project in the framework of the Horizon um, Europe um, program. Um, so this, um, this is a two years and a half project coordinated by Sintef and that started uh, last year in, in September. Uh, CCUS then stands for Zero Emission Network to facilitate CCUS uptake in industry. So the objective is to enable for, uh, faster development of CCUS projects in industrial clusters across Europe. And so the idea is to identify potential new uh, PCI uh, projects, especially for transport and storage. Um, the, um, the CCUSN project, as you can see on the map, will focus on uh, the Mediterranean Sea region and in um, the Baltic Sea region, uh, learning from um, the knowledge from the North Sea uh, region. We are trying to, to develop CCUS in this uh, uh, other regions in Europe. The, um, the workflow of the, of the CCUS then a uh, project is uh, starting with regional screening, um, technical mapping of emission sources, storage sites, also in, uh, transport, utilization, renewables, and also uh, non-technical mapping. And for example, the regulatory aspect that um, Lena presented yesterday. And then um, uh, this leads to uh, identification of some CCUS value chains um, defining some scenarios, integrating the whole uh, carbon trans uh, capture, transport, storage um, chain, and performing also, um, uh, focusing also on the, really integrating the transport solutions, looking at the transborder aspects, and performing um, a SWOT analysis, because the idea is then to select uh, for two, two cases, one for a Baltic region and one for Mediterranean region, on which um, uh, will be at a uh, rather local uh, scale and which will lead to um, uh, a business model uh, study. So this is the final stage of the, of the project. Um, so, so here are the two regions studied in the project. Um, so today we'll focus on the Mediterranean Sea uh, with uh, countries involved are France, Spain, Italy, Greece, uh, Turkey. Um, first, the technical mapping from, um, of the emission sources was uh, performed using uh, the capture map tool uh, developed by Endrava company. Uh, but this is mainly based on the EU uh, ETS uh, database and also uh, the um, European Pollutant Release and Transfer Register. Uh, that's uh, interesting also for the biomass emission uh, database. And, and this, um, this data has been accused by the uh, CCUSN partners in uh, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and France. And um, as far as uh, Turkey is concerned, uh, they, there, there is no uh, public uh, database of uh, emissions in Turkey. So our partner from uh, Middle East Technical University, Mitu, uh, performed the, the work themselves estimating the um, uh, emissions of each uh, industrial site in Turkey. So this is uh, uh, the mapping of all the emission sources in this uh, area. So we... Um, uh, we we mapped uh, also the, the location of this uh, emission, but also uh, the associated emission, total emission, uh, biomass emission, uh, fossil emissions, uh, also the trend of the emission and 
aspects about long, long levity of this, uh, of this emissions. Uh, and as far as uh, storage is concerned, um, mapping has been based on uh, publicly available data, so basing on previous uh, European projects, um, especially recent projects such as Strategy CC US and Pilot Strategy, but also on national projects and uh, on the knowledge, public knowledge from uh, the university and research institutions involved in the projects. So this is the mapping for the storage capacity uh, sites in uh, around Mediterranean region. So that's not so much. <laughs> um, what is, um, is listed is well, the control of the, um, of the sites, uh, the onshore or offshore uh, aspect, the storage type, because both aquifer and hydrocarbon uh, fields are um, listed. Uh, and the storage capacity, and very important, the storage regional levels, because the capacity itself doesn't mean um, a lot if uh, uh, information about the maturity of this, uh, of this uh, value is uh, available. For, for the Mediterranean area, uh, this storage readiness level is uh, generally very low uh, in, this, um, uh, in these sites, contrary to uh, what is uh, listed in uh, the northern part of Europe. So the idea then is to connect the emission sources with uh, storage sites in order to identify um, promising CCS value chains. So focusing on the Mediterranean region, we can, um, um, we can uh, have see some um, potential linking in the western part of Mediterranean uh, the southeast um, France and east uh, uh, part of Spain. Also, um, we will focus on Italy and in the eastern part of the Mediterranean, on uh, Turkey with a higher uh, uh, industry uh, area uh, in the uh, western part of Turkey and storage potential in, in Greece. So, speaking about Turkey, um, so there is no um, uh, identified uh, storage sources uh, yet in, in Turkey. There are some um, oil and gas production in the uh, eastern part of Turkey, uh, but uh, basing on current data we have, uh, we have looked at the, um, the westernmost part of Turkey with um, highly uh, industrial, industrialized uh, clusters in Soma and Izmir. Izmir, which is a port area, um, with uh, looking at the um, uh, storage capacities uh, in <coughs> Greece. So, uh, uh, proposed valuation in the, in the project uh, links so the, these emitters in, uh, in Turkey with the storage uh, potential in, uh, in Greece capturing uh, CO2 in the SOMA cluster. Uh, you have here the repartition of the um, emissions uh, depending on the sector, industrial sector. Uh, and the idea is to transport via pipeline uh, CO2 to the, the port of Izmir and then transport by ship to uh, Prinos, uh, Prinos Basin. So here, uh, what is um, considered here is a deep saline aquifer in Prinos uh, so this is um, uh, one gigaton capacity, but at uh, a maturity level of one, which is uh, the lowest in the, um, in, in the grid. Then going on the other side of Mediterranean, um, in France and Spain. So these are the, the emitters uh, identified on the storage uh, potential here in France and here in the Ebro Basin in, uh, in Spain. Uh, what is uh, proposed in this project is looking at these four um, industrial clusters. So in, in Paragona, with uh, a total uh, uh, emissions of more than uh, five megaton per year. Barcelona, also almost five megaton per year. Uh, Ma the Marseille uh, and Fos sur Mer industrial uh, uh, area is uh, totaling more than uh, 16 megaton per year. 
especially because of the ArcelorMittal uh, uh, plant, uh, the steel plant in, in Foss-sur-Mer, and also the cluster of Lyon, um, uh, which totals uh, four megaton of CO2. Uh, the proposed potential storage site is uh, the one situated offshore. It, is, um, it was the in area of interest studied in the H2020 uh, pilot strategy project. So the proposed scenario is to, uh, to store in this offshore uh, reservoirs, uh, the in emissions from the Tarragona cluster, but also from the Barcelona cluster and the Fos Marseille cluster with ship transport through the Mediterranean Sea. And also uh, the Lyon cluster can be uh, linked to uh, Marseille with um, repurposing, for example, uh, existing uh, oil transport pipelines. Uh, also, maybe looking at more uh, local scale, um, we can propose uh, another value chain in this uh, uh, Marseille area, looking at more specially um, this uh, storage structure identified uh, through previous French research projects, uh, which total uh, 37 megaton of capacity. Uh, but it's still a low level of um, maturity, so maybe this will be reduced with further uh, study. But uh, what is interesting is that we have two uh, industrial plants in the Boker re region uh, that both total uh, more than one megaton per year of emissions. So it could be interesting to, to store uh, this emission in a very local uh, storage sites with a, a pipeline of only 20 seven kilometers long. And then going back to Italy, so this is a map of the emissions in Italy and uh, available data for storage capacities. So this is based on public data, so we don't have all the data, especially uh, the private uh, companies offshore uh, in this area. So <laughs> here is where the Ravenna uh, project uh, is developed with all of the um, industrial area of the Po, po Valley. So this will be, I think, presented uh, in the next uh, uh, talk uh, in further detail. And as the objective of this uh, CCUS Zen project is to bring out new, um, new CCS uh, value chains, uh, we decided to go south of uh, Italy and look at what could be developed for example, around the Bradamica uh, Reservoir that has been uh, studied. Uh, we can build a value chain capturing CO2 from the Taranto uh, industrial cluster here. Uh, so the Brindisi could be linked. So here you have the um, uh, total amount of the emissions. So Taranto cluster is rather big with 12 megaton per year. Uh, smaller cluster in Brindisi that can be linked to the storage also. Uh, maybe in a second time could be uh, captured CO2 in, uh, in Prio de Gargado and transported with, by ship. So this is a, an overview, overview of what has been done in the CCUSN uh, project and we are now, if you remember this uh, scheme, we are now in this um, uh, stage of selecting a CCUS value chain for this uh, rather into detail uh, technical modelization and uh, selection of uh, the most promising in each region for further uh, business case development. Uh, so these are the partners involved in the strategy, uh, in the, <laughs> sorry, CCUSN project. Uh, uh, so partners from uh, Baltic regions and partners from um, Mediterranean region, and we also have a um, very um, large uh, network of partners that are not working into the project, but uh, following the, the development of the project and discussing with us and providing us with some information. And I don't think this is uh, updated because there are uh, a new, also new um, uh, part networking partners jo joining constantly the, um, the project. So if you're interested, uh, you, you can uh, contact them, or tell me your contact, the um, project coordinator at Sintef. And um, yeah, I invite you to, um, to check our website, ccusn.eu, and uh, because we have um, uh, um, 
re we are releasing our deliverables and if you want further details. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>